One of Michigan State University's most iconic pieces of scenery is the Beaumont Tower. If you've heard it, you know how beautiful the bells sound. But who's behind the songs that play every Wednesday afternoon? Well, the university just welcomed someone new to campus, and this morning I'll introduce you to him. When the clock strikes noon at Beaumont Tower. I feel more relaxed with the, the bells. People like Beth Milder know it's almost time. On Wednesdays, the Caroliner plays. For the sweet sound of the Carolin. I just love to hear the bells play and ring and their vibrations. It's just very nice. Inside, Jonathan Lehrer climbs the 74 steps of Beaumont Tower. Okay. Takes his place between the clock faces. Let's do it. And knows he's home. I was about 18 when I discovered the Carillon, uh, going off to university, and just kind of fell in love with it. Lehrer never thought he could do what he loves as a job. At the time I was like, really? I can get paid to like go play? <laughs> and like share music with people, that's amazing. But once he realized he could... That sort of took me to Belgium to study the instrument more and again doing more concerts on the international stage and, and getting more immersed into performance and it, it sort of grew out of that. There was no going back. I was playing instruments from the 17th century and you know, same bells that were heard hundreds and hundreds of years ago. There have been huge towers, you know, like I said, 500 steps to get up just to the bell level. 22 years later, he finds himself at Michigan State as the newest Carillonist. It's a medium-sized instrument. It's very versatile, really nice tone on the bells. Um, I like the opportunity to serve a large campus community. Playing a concert every single Wednesday at noon, shine or snow. I haven't done a Michigan winter before, so I'm going to be just as surprised as anyone. As long as the bells aren't frozen, we play. And teaching the next generation of Carolonists. It takes me back to when I was, you know, a student as well, and all of the sort of like newness and adventure and sense of wonder. I've been doing this for 22 years, and I've taken in a lot of information and, and so it's sort of, it's a chance to access and like bring that out in a more explicit way than I might just when I'm playing. When he's not teaching or playing. I also work in tech, I'm a data scientist, so I have sort of a dual track career going on. Two jobs he says go hand in hand. Yeah, I, I see a lot of connections. Um, maybe not data to music, but certainly math to music and ratios and intervals and all of that. But no matter what, he always finds his way back to the Carolyn. It's an amazing resource to have on a campus and it should be enjoyed as widely as we can. With no specific favorite song in mind. Oh no, it's like, you know, what's your favorite child kind of question. <laughs> and plays. Sometimes I'll like peer out the window between songs. Oh, who's listening? Anybody sitting down there? Oh yeah, there are a few people. Okay, cool. People like Milder are always listening. It makes me feel uplifted. And when the clock strikes 1230. The audience is a big part of why I like the instrument. Are already looking forward to the next time the bells toll noon. I don't know how to describe it, but just the ringing is, is beautiful. Right now, Lehrer performs a concert every Wednesday at noon. He says one thing he hopes to accomplish during his time at MSU is to make those concerts more frequent to deepen the connection to the instrument on campus.